application so let's start with the hardware that how we can connect it and so if it is doing the person is doing any of the activity moving their hand you can see there's a fluctuation this is deepak from tech packs today i'm here to present you one of the application that we have designed for the biomedical area so this is basically a bio wearable device that we have designed by using the different technologies as the embedded systems second is the using of artificial intelligence and machine learning and thirdly by handling the data so in this the project is basically divided into three different modules one of the module is to design and hardware module with the real time ecg capturing capability in which we do have the ecg sensors ecg probes uh, arduino microcontroller along with that a usb cable that you can see on the screen so these are basically the electrodes those will help to capture the ecg of the particular patient this is a ecg sensor that will capture the signal coming from it and transferring it to the controller along with that this is a breadboard and a arduino uno microcontroller this is the usb cable that will be used to connect this uh, arduino to the pc at the pc we do have two different phases one of the phases to recognize the real time ecg based health of the person in which the captured signal will be firstly captured and then the packet of 187 signal values will be given to the self trained artificial intelligence model so that will give you the five different classes of the ecg which we will show you later on and in second feature of the software application is to predict the health of the person as per the individual parameters like heart rate blood pressure temperature and urine amount extracted those are commonly used by the hospitals and the doctors to identify the health of the person so these are the features that we are giving in this particular application so let's start with the hardware that how we can connect it so you can see this is basically sensor module in which we do have six pins out of which we just need to use at the ground the 3.3 power source output from which the ecg can be captured low and high and low positive and negative module last one is the sdn so now let's start with the demonstration of the hardware with uh, implementing these electrodes these three electrodes on the human body so one is red one is green and one is yellow so as per the documentation red is to be applied on the right arm green on the left and yellow on the chest even yellow can also be applied on the end of your elbow so i have one participant with me who is going to apply these electrode on their hand so you can see here we just need to peel off uh, these electrode covers take care of the thing that these electrode should be placed effectively uh, the green is to be placed on the left hand these electrodes can be easily uh, purchased from any of the medical shop though so it is there so one is the yellow one so i'm helping him to place it on his right arm so kindly place it on the end of your arm here so here you can see so as he has applied all the three electrodes on his arm you can see one is here the yellow one the red one and the green one so now let's start with the processing at the python script that we have designed that how it is capturing the signal and how it is visualizing it now further to this let's see how we can capture the signal on the module that we have already designed in the python so the graphical user interface will be appear so we just need to go to that real time ecg here you can click on the start you can see the signal is started it is quite similar to the ecgs here the signal will be shown like this as the when the electrodes were not connected we were well receiving the values of around 0 to 10 but now it is around uh, 160 140 and if it is doing the person is doing any of the activity moving their hand you can see there is a fluctuation in the ecg right so uh, this is how we can capture the signal and it will go up to the 187 values so let's wait for that if it is in a relaxation mode the person is not moving any of the activity you can see the curve is going down where it was around 160 now it is around 130 so it is going down so it is as per the human activity so after a certain test we came to know see there is a fluctuation because the packet start moving from left to right so there is a fluctuation in the signal so now i am just going to stop it stop the signal and click on the evaluate you can see the class that is predicted is basically the supraventricular ecotopic beats so it totally depends upon the model that you have already designed run the code you can see the person was already connected to the electrodes so we just need to select here the real time scenario again and here the gui is you just need to select the real time ecg so click on the start 
and it will start showing you the values of the signal so uh, as the person is just moving their hand there uh, accordingly the signal will be captured so once he will move more you can see the curves those were there with the random purpose now it is quite similar to the ecg one and are of perfect shape so this is basically the amplitude the ecg value that we are receiving person will just change it this module can easily be designed at a very lesser cost and easy for the medical purpose right so i hope you people like this video for uh, more such videos please do uh, connect to our channel thanks for watching the video thank you